Joining me now, it is Severe Weather Preparedness Week, yeah. and uh, I, you know, I, you were talking a while ago about how we broke a record over the weekend with 80s. <laughs> we got 80s today, 60s tomorrow, mm -hmm. possible of 20s next Saturday. I mean, it doesn't take a yeah, a rocket scientist <laughs> to figure out. I mean, we got a lot of weather changes going on. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about in terms of the, what's going on, not just today, but really in the days ahead. Yeah. And of course, with weather prepared, well, severe weather prepared this week, it's the most appropriate time to kind of rehash some of the things that we're going to be saying here moving forward. Something you hear us say a lot, yeah. watches and warnings. Yeah, before long, we hit this, that spring kind of stretch where we start getting mm -hmm. a lot of these severe weather breaks. And that's the thing is we're still in the winter season technically yeah, that's yeah. not until march 20th where we Gosh. transition over to spring so usually this is ahead of any any severe risks but today we do have a risk for severe weather so wanting to rehash as we take a live look this morning over our south park neighborhood this is a week where you want to just re remember some of the uh, severe weather plans that you have for your home and your family and of course what to do when these situations happen. For example, watch versus warning. A severe watch, if we say a thunderstorm watch, a severe thunderstorm watch, it indicates that there's hazardous weather and there's a risk for it. So if you have a plan in case a storm threatens, you want to maybe make sure that's rehashed and understood. A warning means that the event is actually happening. A severe thunderstorm warning means now it's time to take action, put that plan in place, and really start getting into where you need to be. This is evident and especially good to go through for today as this area of low pressure has a tornado watch for western Tennessee, even up into Kentucky. We've seen some heavy downpours passing through Memphis, heading into northern Mississippi as well, continuing to inundate them with these line of showers that's heading east now, impacting Nashville. It's going to be making its way towards the Queen City as we get into your afternoon and evening hours. So our severe risk is going to see the slight risk for severe Severe weather, marginal risk for severe weather in that darker green. That's likely to arrive later on today. And the main threat here, it's going to be the damaging winds that come with it. So temperature wise, we get into the low 80s this afternoon, holding on to 70s still as a line of storms arrive later on this evening. This is looking at about seven o'clock before it tapers off, heading off to our south and east. A brief area of dry dryness before we gear up again, bringing more wet weather Tuesday evening into your Wednesday. Wednesday morning, looking like a wet morning commute and more of a washout in terms of your rain chances throughout the day. We're looking at anywhere between three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain when everything's said and done for the Queen City and surrounding areas after you get to Wednesday morning. That's going to be helpful in reducing the abnormally dry conditions as our drought monitor still holding on to some of that yellow temperature wise 60s to start your day. That's above normal for this time of year for the highs. We make a run for the low 80s this afternoon. Wind's still something else to watch out for. So we have that wind advisory in effect, I-40 corridor. And of course, it's going to be an active week as we go from the 80s to the 50s. And then Saturday night into Sunday, even dropping down into the 20s before we clear up on Sunday.